हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इंट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज एज सुन एज दे आर अपलोडेड एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद माई कंटेंट एंड सपोर्ट मी एट द सेम टाइम Now let's discuss about the Windows Autopilot high level process flow. So this is a thousand feet overview of Windows Autopilot process. So we know that in an autopilot process we have mainly three key players involved. The very first one is the hardware vendor who is uploading the hardware as in Windows Autopilot service services either via uh, OEM APIs or via partner center portal and then they are going to ship the device directly to the end user. the second key player is the it administrator or the intune administrator who is going to configure the uh, deployment autopilot deployment profile in intune console and the third one is the employee or the end user who is going to perform the autopilot so when the hardware hash is uploaded by the hardware vendor those hash are synced uh, between windows autopilot services and intune so once the once the synchronization is done all the deployment configuration profile whatever we created in intune is targeted to that hardware hash and then once the user is performing on the autopilot then the very first step to check against the windows autopilot service whether the machine is in autopilot machine or not if if windows autopilot service is uh, is detecting that this machine is on autopilot service they are going to provide the deployment profile and and the machine is going to download that deployment profile and configure the out of box experience as per the configuration at the same time machine is also going to check if there is any zero day vulnerability or autopilot update available for that device if machine is detecting that there is an there is an zero day or autopilot available the machine is downloading those things and configured installing those updates accordingly and if we configure the device name in the deployment profile machine is going to configure the device name accordingly and then machine is going to reboot it so once the machine is back and online a user is on on onboarding page where they need to provide their azure ready credential once they are providing this machine is going to join in the azure ready and enroll in intune because we already enable the automatic enrollment in intune so once the machine is enrolled in intune then all the deploy all the device base and user base policies are deployed on that device and installed during the esp page and the deployments are completed then user can log in with their azure ready credentials and they are ready to use their machine i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video